The new symmetry feature within Next is based off of the mesh topology. So in order to effectively use it, there are a couple important things worth knowing. First, of course, you'll want to make sure that your mesh is topologically symmetrical. So for example, if I was to select the uh, center edge loop here, the components on this side of the mesh is uh, has an equal and opposite component on the opposite side. So there is a one-to-one -one correspondence on both sides. Uh, that doesn't mean the components are in the same position. So as you can see here, the components on that side of the horn uh, don't match the same position as that side. But if I was to enable symmetry, uh, I can still make that selection and uh, see it applied on both sides. So it's based off topology. As long as the components are there on the opposite side, it knows which components to select. So the other important fact is that it can only be applied to a single uh, shell so or single polygonal element so for example if I was to create a sphere right off the bat I can instantly enable symmetry on that sphere and I can start making transformations or any kind of mesh edits on that sphere and it applies to both sides but if I was for example to copy that sphere and select them and combine these and try to enable symmetry I'll get an error so it says this is an invalid topology so you're not going to be allowed to use symmetry uh, currently with two different shells. One other thing worth knowing is uh, a cube, which is not completely untypical to start with for a model, uh, can be used. All you really need to do is just make sure you have uh, a loop that sort of separates the two halves of the cube. So here we can now enable symmetry, symmetry and it will apply and work just like that. And then after you're done, if you don't want that edge loop, you can just delete it. However, if I was to delete that and uh, create another cube, this time I'm going to create the subdivisions uh, using the uh, cube's parameters here. Here we have a cube that has a distinct line separating two halves of it, but uh, what ends up happening is if I enable symmetry, that works because the topology is symmetrical, but it can sometimes be a little bit confused as to what direction to set its uh, plane so when you start transforming components it doesn't really know so for example here I'm sort of pulling in that direction and this edge you would expect to pull away from the cube where it's actually pulling in the middle of it so in that circumstance if you're working on a mesh that's completely symmetrical in all three uh, directions you'll want to make sure that before you enable symmetry just to make it a little less symmetrical in one of the directions so here if I do something as simple as that and now re-enable symmetry and try making any kind of transformations, it'll apply perfectly. So that's just a, a little bit of a tip, just in case you run into this circumstance, and that should solve that. So just like I said, make sure you have uh, your mesh not completely symmetrical in all three directions, or else it can sometimes get a little bit confused.